let's understand sequence in ui path what is sequence in ui path and how that works for that the very first thing you do you create a project in case you have not done it so how you do it hit on home hit on process and you give it a name and then hit on create the moment you create it what happens a project will get created you open that and you would have something called open workflow click on that and finally you will land onto a blank space here let's say i would like to drag and drop few activities let's say i'm going to drag and drop an activity called message box the moment i drag and drop a sequence gets created do you see a sequence got created let me give it a name let's say i'm going to give it a name called display message what if i would like to drag and drop few more activities inside this let's say another three message boxes i have dragged and dropped to understand how sequence works in ui path you need to first design this and write few things let's say i'm writing in the first message box hi second one how are you and the third one i'm writing subscribe i hope you have already subscribed to my channel okay so subscribe now if you run this you would be able to see actually how a sequence works a sequence always works from the top to bottom look at it so what happened the execution has started and the very first message box got executed and the output is on your screen which is high then what would happen then the second one top to bottom approach now how are you and the third one subscribe right so the first thing we have learned in a sequence it always has a top to bottom approach and it is always unidirectional so what is this sequence the sequence represents a block of activities in ui path right in any programming language you write a block of code same way this represents block of activities in ui path so this is clear now let's go to the activities panel and type sequence so here you see sequence what if i would like to add few more things but again i would like to keep it separate for example i would like to ask user input so I, what i have done i am dragging and dropping a child sequence within the parent sequence so for this child sequence let me give it a name called user input and inside this sequence i can drag and drop further more activities let's say i would like to ask something right so i'll use a input dialog box and here in the input dialog box you can design it let's say i would like to ask the name of the person so i will say user input and i am going to ask age or name whatever you like to ask right here i want to ask enter your uh, age or enter your name okay and here i will create a variable called user input so what would happen the moment i execute this it's going to ask me so look at this how this is going to execute so right now we have a parent sequence and inside that there is a child sequence but again the workflow will always work from top to bottom so look at it so the first one got executed hi and the second one got executed how are you and the third one got executed subscribe okay now this one is getting executed the child sequence and inside that there is an activity called input dialog box this is getting executed and it is asking me enter your name and here let me say rakesh i am going to enter okay and that's going to get stored in the user input variable and you can use a message box to display that okay so this is clear top to bottom approach there is also one more thing called sequence so what is this then what is this when you create a sequence what happens from here let me show you for that first thing you hit on the project tab in the project tab there is a main.xml file right click on this file and go to open file location okay so here is the folder where your file is available right in in your computer so whatever you are designing and the moment you save it what happens all this data all this activity that you have created or all the development that you have done everything gets saved inside this file called main.xml this is the file which stores all the details the moment you hit on new and hit on sequence it is telling you hey i am going to create a new file now so right now i had only one file so what would happen the kind of name i am going to give let's say i am going to give it a name called uh, display message uh, 2 okay i am going to give it a name called display message 2 and hit on create 
so what is happening right now you have created another file called display message 2 this is another xml file so the moment you use this option it always creates a new xml file right new xml file now there is also called flowchart the sequence is always unidirectional you can't move to left or right kind of a branching right if the condition meets you go to left if condition doesn't meet go to right so for all that i need to use a flowchart which i'm going to discuss next at the moment let's focus on the sequence so here i have created another sequence what if i would like to copy the entire thing let me control x okay i'm going to cut everything and inside this i am going to paste it okay In, i will highlight this and i am going to control v so what is happening all the activities which were present which were present in this one now i am adding it over here and why am i doing so okay let me add one more activity here i am going to improvise this slide a bit by adding a message box and i would like to display the display the user input user input okay so why did i do so now the what happens in ui path your when you run ui path the execution starts from your main file this is the file from your execution will start and then you have also created another file so how do i really use that file which i have created it is pretty simple all you do go to the activities panel and here you type invoke workflow file so there is another workflow file you have created called display message to and i am going to indicate that file where exactly that file is available i will select this file hit on open now what would happen i am not exactly running this let me close this okay and always save it okay save and close so let me close this so what i am running i am exa exactly running the main file i am not doing anything so what would happen this is going to call this xml file and the, all the codes written there will be executed let let's see this so hit on run okay so now the invoke workflow file will run and it is going to call the xml file which i have created look at it so what is happening it is going to call like we call the functions right in the programming language same way we are calling a different see that the other file has opened and from here the other file is get getting executed do you see hi got executed then how are you is coming then subscribe is coming then the child sequence is getting executed it is asking the name let me enter my name let's say rakesh and then finally it is going to display the name rakesh getting it so this is the use of creating a new sequence wherein you can keep your main file quite simple and all the modules that you are creating these are called modules okay so you have created a module called display message module and i'm calling this module in the main file so that is the purpose of you creating a new sequence and a new workflow file and you are calling that workflow file through a invoke workflow, workflow file activity so that's about uh, the agenda of the video let's move on to the next topic to understand what is a flow chart